Cash App PPP, SBA loan. This is your latest update. My name is Quentin Banks. At any time, if you guys got questions, feel free to drop those questions, comments, and concerns below. Also, in my channel, you say playlist listed of PPP, SBA, stimulus checks, all that good stuff on my channel. I'm done talking. My name is Quentin Banks. Let's get right to this. Let's go. Cash App PPP, SBA loan. We're going to talk about Chime here. My name is Quinn Banks. If you guys got any questions during this video, feel free to drop those comments and concerns below. But we're going to get right into this because everybody's in different positions, whether it's their loan or their business. So like I always say, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you guys are in tune for the latest and the greatest information. Let's get right to this. Has anybody in here received their PPP through Cash App? My bank rejected my original deposit, so I have to wait for an email. Also, does anybody know how long it takes for them to resend the email to update your banking information? If you guys got Cash App or use Cash App, um, let me know in the comment section. I know a few people who actually use Cash App, and Cash App seems to be working better than a lot of these other banks. You know, I'm not going to name drop any other banks because, um, like I said, everybody's different, but. Cash App seems to be having a um, good success rate. So if you guys got Cash App or even the Cash Card, guys, let me know in the comment section. Let's go ahead and read some of these because um, you guys already know I did one video about Cash App. I did another video about Capital Plus, another video about Huntington, Chase, um, Chime. All of those videos are on my channel. So guys, feel free to head over to my channel and you guys will see all of those updates on there perfectly. Um, but first comment began to say, I would just get the card and pay yourself in your bank because every other bank is rejecting. This is absurd. Um, I wish Wompley Bensworth offered a card. Been waiting since April 19th. Now, a lot of people was asking me um, what would I recommend as far as, you know, using your bank or a card. And that's another good reason why it's good to use your um, to use the card if it's available you know because at least with the card you know number one your funds are going to be on there it's going to be issued from the government and um, even though it may take a little bit longer or may not actually you know what I mean it may initially take a little bit longer but at least you'll know 110 percent your money and your funds will be on the card then you'll also know it's coming from the government you're not going to and you're not having to jump through any extra loops or anything like that to get your money you know because uh, we all know how tough it is trying to contact these banks and trying to contact these um these companies who really don't even care you know what i mean let's be real they don't care you know what i mean some of these companies don't care some of these places don't even they're not even really concerned you know what i mean they go, they're going to send you you know generic emails and stuff like that so it's good to actually have um that cash card just for that exact reason you know um they begin to say i was waiting on borrow but it got rejected so they opted me to upload bank statement and card is coming i'm back in line shake my head positive thinking uh, you gotta kind of stay positive in these situations of course staying positive is the way to go especially when it comes down to um you know i mean your money and figuring things out like that so that's a good way to think about it and look at it is staying positive uh, blue acorn that was the blue acorn someone began to say i received my first draw on my cash app business amount on 523 and had no issues at all waiting for a second draw to be deposited now blue acorn and capital plus somebody asked was it over 10k they began to say a little under somebody began to say my friend got funded too without or with about 8k and no issues but mine is 17k and i directed it to cash app thinking it would be fine until I came to read it and see everyone else posting about it. As I always say, everybody is different and you guys need to look at um, the amount as well. So depending on the amount, that can actually change as well. So if your amount is higher or, you know what I mean? Like I said, when, you, when, you, when we're talking about under 10K, like 7, 6K, and then you're talking about 10K, uh, 30k 20k whatever whatever the case may be but all of that amount that plays a factor as well you know because they they send out these loans in batches so that plays an effect as well somebody said as long as it's a business account you should be good up to 25k and that's another thing you guys got to watch out for is making sure you're trying to deposit these funds in a business account and not a personal account you know what i mean so you're trying to do it into a personal account that can actually um cause your bank to reject it if you guys try to do it as a as a business account 
Um, somebody said I was waiting on borrow, got rejected, trying the cash app, so I entered in my account info and got a uh, direct deposit form. It's been almost two days, but is it still? But it still says it's not verified. Should I worry or should I wait a bit because it has been uh, weekend days, not business days? Please give me some knowledgeable advice from experience. No, I think help. Sorry, time is running out. Thanks in advance. Somebody said mine was rejected Wednesday and haven't received anything to update it yet. People have told me it's about a week turnaround to update banking information. So hopefully next week. And then somebody else. Uh, people with cash out posting screenshots of um, PPP deposits with a smiley face. So like I said, it looks like that's the best way to go. You know, if you guys got that option, you know what I mean? So, um, and then who would have thought, you know, Cash App would be the main, one of the main reasons, main places to go. I'm hearing it's easy to verify when it comes to that as well. So when it comes down to verifying and um, doing all of that, it does seem like Cash App is the way to go. If you guys got Cash App or got that option, I would advise people to use it. Um, you know what I mean? Just, just use it if you guys got that option, especially if you're still waiting. But um, like I said, everybody's different. You know what I mean? Everybody's, you know what I mean, in a different position for sure. But um, yeah, guys, drop your comments and concerns below. Let me know if this um, video helped you guys. If this video helped you guys, as I always say, um, drop a comment, like, and subscribe. I am here to help you guys. Um, I actually got a lot of financial institutions who watch my content, and they are here to help you guys as well, as I always say, you know. So any way that we can help you guys, we're going to try to help you guys. Um, also go to my channel as well. You actually see a um, cash app payment. funded PPP loan, SBA loan. We talked about Capital Plus, Bank of America. If you guys got questions, feel free to drop those comments, concerns below. Once again, my name is Quentin Banks, providing the latest and greatest information. Let's get right to this. App funded. My name is Quentin Banks. PPP loan, SBA. This is your latest and greatest updates. Once again, my name is Quentin Banks. If you are new to the channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Of course, we're going to get right into this. A lot of people was questioning Cash App. So it looks like I have a member of my channel who actually got funded with Cash App. Now, drop the comments and concerns below. Let me know, are you funded? Are you still waiting? And um, who do you have as far as your lender? Who, who are you waiting on? So let's get right into this. They begin to say Cash App funded, April signer. Updated info 527 confirmed Tuesday, guys. So everything looks confirmed. Um, they're using PPP fast lane wobbly. Updated bank information needed. Let's begin to see what the comments say. Somebody said, Congrats, 414 signer. I was just able to confirm my cash app. Somebody else began to say, I also just able to confirm my cash app yesterday, but when they send a code. It goes to the number I had on it before and I already changed my number now I don't even know how to change my number on my Wombly to my present number please who can help and they and they don't give me an email option so it does it like they say they don't give them an email option so I'm not 110 percent sure why not somebody said I'm not sure if you can only thing I can think of is getting a sim card like simple mobile or something and getting the cheapest plan tell them you want to transfer your number and give them the number you had on your application it's a lot but that's the only solution I can come up with somebody also began to say at least they should have leave an option to send code to Gmail somebody said I don't know why they removed that option somebody else began to say and no number to call and explain been trying all SBA number they ain't answering somebody said that's messed up a big one 528 signer cash app was just confirmed four days ago hoping soon if I sign my PN is it too late to change the cash app because Dave gonna reject my loan I think they rejected originally stating they don't accept business loans and that's another thing everybody has to take in consideration when it comes to this it's going to be a business loan guys um, and some banks basically you won't be able to get that deposit if your bank account is not a business loan if your bank is definitely like for personal reasons some banks are rejecting them so 
it might be best to actually see if you can change that to a business bank try to get a business loan out of the deal because um, a lot of people were having issues with that now when it comes to cash app i'm not i'm not 110 percent 10 percent sure as far as when it comes to cash app are they accepting them or not but i have heard two or three people state and tell me they are accepting those cash apps you know cash app is, is accepting them and they're trying to actually transfer over the cash app now the best way to do that as somebody mentioned was you got to get a new number you know you may have to pay a little bit of money get a new number you know what I mean switch it over but I really it really all just depends guys everybody's different everything is different it really just depends now at the end of the day I do want to let you guys know if you guys got any questions feel free to drop those questions and concerns below because um, a lot of people are wanting to help and you know share their story so feel free to drop those questions and concerns below as we always do and don't forget guys this video is sponsored by chime now with the chime you'll get a checking savings and a credit builder account meaning you'll be able to number one save money number two um build your credit as well in the process if you guys want to download chime feel free to download chime it's just um you'll receive 75 dollars for downloading it but you have to use my link that's just stating and showing chime that okay you watch my videos you know what's going on right so if you guys want that free 75 dollars Feel free to do that. You know, I, I have no problem helping you guys out, you know, and um, yeah. So let's get back into this. 528 signer cash out was just confirmed four days ago. Hoping soon. Somebody said if I sign my PN, is it too late to change the cash app? Because Dave going to reject my loan, I think. Somebody said Dave rejected originally, stating they don't accept business loans. How to change or is it too late? If I already signed pen, now, and that's the one thing with Dave, I wish they would have. Um, so I'm not too too sure, but um, knowing that prior to that would have been effective, right? Knowing that if you had Dave or if you had anything like that, um, they're not accepting those. You know, it would suck to get to the final stages of funding and then happen to realize, wow, Dave is not accepting those loans. You know what I mean? So th that would suck. And um, Tasha, go through that. Somebody said, we in this, same here. Yes, I was able to connect my bank also, but not yet been funded. So let me know in the comment section if you guys been funded, especially if we went through Cash App. You know, it does look like a lot of people have been having success with Cash App. Um, we talked about Capital Plus, Bank of America in my previous video. So if you guys got though any of those banks, feel free to go to my channel you guys will see that link as well on there now um, I try to keep everybody updated especially with the chime in that bank now um, if you guys got questions as I always say feel free to drop those questions and concerns below um, once again my name is Quinn Banks bringing you the latest and the greatest information hope everybody have an amazing day an amazing morning whenever or however you're seeing or reading this enjoy your day stay loyal stay blessed stay true Capital Plus, PPP, SBA, Wompley, Blue Acorns. My name is Quentin Banks. Let's get right into the latest and the greatest information. But before we begin, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Yay. My name is Quentin Banks. Let's get into the latest and the greatest information. A lot of people is asking about Bank of America. I know specifically. I got at least five requests about Bank of America. Um, I don't know anybody whose account got locked, but this member actually just told me that his account was locked. So let's see if there's any comments or any concerns that we can actually do to help you guys. Once again, my name is Quentin Banks. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. But yeah, let's get right to this. They began to say Bank of America just locked my account identity. I can't tell if it is because of the PPP or what they want or they, they won't tell me if it hit or not, but I'm assuming that's why. Told me to bring two forms of ID. I'm gonna still take my business paperwork just in case. Now that is the best thing to do if your account gets locked. Now it's time to provide that you are a business, right? Now a lot of people are generating or saying they are businesses. They, um, these banks, especially if you're getting funded 20,000, 50,000, 75,000, $100,000, these banks need to know you are legit. 
whether your bank account is legit, whether your business is legit, whether your ID, you know what I mean? They need to know that everything's legit. So that is one of the main reasons why they locked your account. Do I believe it's fair? Eh, I guess it all depends how you look at it, you know, because they are trying to look out for themselves as well. So you guys got to understand that with, whether it's a bank, they don't, they just think things are fishy, right? So you just got to make sure that number one, you bring all the paperwork. Number two, you present them with the paperwork stating that you are a business. Um, even if you got to provide statements from 2020, you got to let them know that because these banks will close your account, uh, reject the payment, all of that nonsense, right? Now let's read the comments. Let's see. Now if you guys went through this, you guys let me know in the comment section. Let me know as well if you have um, Bank of America and what is the process, like where are you at right now? Somebody said it doesn't matter if you have a business or not, long as your name. They also said I have to reapply for another account. I'm so confused, I don't know what to do. Somebody said, hey, I'm confused, I don't know what to do. Um, is your money in the account or no? I'm at lender funding. It didn't fund to my bank yet, so should I be okay? Same here, but a lot of people were paid today in lender funding. Some say um, if we do get funded in the account that I had, was canceled would they just send the money back to the lender how would that work online when i tried to check my online after five i just got my funding instructions green at midnight today been the lender funding for like four days they told me they can give me another account but this one will be gone now sometimes you also do have to link up a business account so sometimes when it comes to that it is best if you guys have a business account because if, it, if you have a business account that already shows that you have a business. Now, some people are getting these deposits and these loans on a personal account. Now, um, some banks require you to actually have a bank, a business bank account. I'm not stating that this one does, but it should, but it all really depends. You know, it really all it really depends. Now, um, that's something you guys should actually talk to your bank. I would say before, but I, I know it's, it's still.